Cochise County man was recently sentenced to 145 years in prison for shooting at federal officers. It was two years ago this month when Jack Voris shot at the U.S. Marshals Arizona Violent Offender Task Force. That shooting led to a five hour standoff and the closure of Interstate 10 at Palo Verde. In tonight's Crime Trackers report, News 4 Tucson's Lupita Murillo has reaction from law enforcement. They survived a shootout and a five hour standoff, and they also took down one of Southern Arizona's worst of the worst and lived to talk about it. We went in, went for the arrest, and shots were fired. Our guys were pinned down. It was extremely dangerous. Jack Boris was found guilty of shooting at officers in October of 2016. He was also convicted of multiple weapon violations. He was sentenced last week to 145 years in prison. Very, very bad and dangerous man is going to spend the rest of his life in jail where he should be. It was the Arizona Wanted Violent Offender Task Force that went to arrest him when Voris opened fire at them at a motel just off of Interstate 10. This is video from a previous case involving the task force. Officers say they knew Voris was dangerous, so they were prepared with shields, vests, and helmets. Two years later, the bullet holes remain outside room 287, where Voris was holed up. Your heart's going a million beats a minute. Your vision is tunneled in. You're right there in the moment. You go back to your training, though. You go back to what you've done. It's scary. Interstate 10 traffic was in the line of fire, so it was shut down for hours. The Pima County Sheriff's Department was called in for assistance, as was the Pima Regional SWAT team. Deputy James Allerton responded to the area when he heard the call over the radio that there had been an officer-involved shooting. I was outside of the hotel room where the shooting occurred, and I was asked to help cover the uh, one of the windows um, in this incident, so I did deploy with my uh, department issued long gun and cover the window with that pointing it at the at the hotel. Allerton says when someone knowingly fires at law enforcement, they are making a statement that they're that they're opposed to uh, the laws and, and, and rules of society. And in this case, Jack Boris was endangering the lives of innocent people. One federal officer tells me that he vividly remembers evacuating a 15 year old girl down the ladder. She was dressed in her Quintanetta gown. She was celebrating her 15th birthday that night. But Jack Boris prevented that. He was trying to take away lives that day, so he needs to spend the rest of his life in jail. Lupita Murillo, News for Tucson.